Those are the shapes of cellos. So as a recap, we have Stradivari. Stradivari, Antonio Stradivari. This is a Stradivari gore booth and it's a Linea Macchi cello. This here is a Giuseppe Guarneri, Guarneri, or also known as Guarneri del Gesù. And that is a... Completely... You have to cut that out. This one is Andrea Guarneri and it's completely different issue. It's like his <laughs> grand-grandfather of Giuseppe Guarneri, okay? So this is Andrea Guarneri, okay? <laughs> Andrea, sorry. <laughs> We, did we say uh, Giuseppe Guarneri before? I, uh, no, I, I don't, don't know so. what we were saying, but... Um, I'm getting red here when you <laughs> come to so close <laughs> to me. <laughs> There's not only one Guarneri, there are many Guarneri. Pietro Guarneri del, uh, di Mantova, Andrea Guarneri, uh, like Andrea Amati, more or less same period of time, 15 centuries, uh, 1500 something. Mm -hmm. So this one is Andrea Guarneri, okay? okay. And similar proportions like the Andrea Guarneri, Domenico Montagnana, who was a maker from Venice, and uh, is a very, very good sounding instrument. The Sleeping Beauty is his most uh, famous instrument because of the 100 years where this instrument was sleeping and was forgotten yeah. and not played, and then it was discovered. And in the timeline of when these were created, like what should be the first, and then the second, and the third? How, uh, you hear these instruments here in the workshop? No, just like in the lives of... Timeline? Yes. Okay. Timeline of these instruments. This one is the second half of the 15th century, so it's one of the very early makers and you can tell it's a very... Very violin Primitive looking. and rough shaped instrument. Very large. It's like the grand-grandfather of all the instrument makers like Stradivari, Montagnan okay. and all those, yeah? Then we have Stradivari was definitely the next one, mm -hmm. okay? And then a little bit later, maybe 10 years later than Stradivari, something like this, um, Domenico Montagnana. So what year would you say this cello is copied from the Stradivari cello. Well, you know, um, no, because it's only in a few years. And I, I was looking before. This is from four centuries of violin making. You know, and here in the beginning of the book, you have here all the makers and when they were living and when they were working and everything. Cello 1710 is the one. 1710. So that cello is a copy of a 1710 Stradivari. Yes, this okay. is very typical Stradivari. This is the shape you see of the other one over there. And then yeah. the Guarneri. What um, is that copy from the Andrea Guarneri? Oh, it's in Russia, in Moscow, in the in the in uh, in the museum. I saw it there the first time. This is the Andrea So that's, a, that's a copy this, of this exact cello. Yes, this is the cello. Um, mm -hmm. Is this the copy of the Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty you talked about? Yes. Or is this, this is the copy? This is the copy of the Sleeping Beauty. Are they both the copy, front, the five string and this one? Uh, here only the mold, but it's not a copy. It's, it's, it's a less copy. It's just a, the, the same shape and the same, uh, but it's not a copy. Okay. okay. But this one is a copy. The one this one made, is a copy, yes. And you made that by hand. Yes. This is all made by you. 